way back when I told you to stay for the teaser after the end credits for Iron Man 2? Well, this is why. Asgard, one of the Nine Realms, is ruled by Odin, played by Anthony Hopkins of the right, because who else could you possibly cast as Odin? And his wife Frigga, Rene Russo. As it turns out, Asgard looks kind of like a giant pipe organ. Yeah, it's an odd look, but it works for the most part. The Celtic knots are a strange thing to find among Norse deities, but they've also got a sort of Matrix-ish, steampunky kind of feel going on, and it looks better than Olympus did in Clash of the Titans, which is the important part. Chris Hemsworth is the mighty Thor, god of thunder, older of Odin's sons. He was in Star Trek as Kirk's father for about two minutes, so you might remember him. Maybe not. Probably not, in fact. The younger son is Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, who was in the Wallander TV series with Kenneth Branagh, who directed Thor, so I guess that's how Tom Hiddleston got the part. He's an excellent Loki, though, don't worry. Everyone in Asgard is apparently a warrior, though Loki is more a 25th level rogue. Okay, well, he's a, he's a trickster sort of god who casts illusions and sneaks up on people instead of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and beating them up like everybody else does. But like any good pantheon, they have arch nemeses. Nemesi? The Frost Giants. They're not 15 feet tall like Dungeons and Dragons Frost Giants, but they're tall and can freeze you with a glance. Well, with a touch, but it's still impressive. The fragile peace between the two groups is falling apart and, frankly, Thor is kind of an idiot about diplomacy. That always kind of bothered me in the comic books. He was so supremely overconfident and clueless, and yet somehow things always just seem to work out for him. Fortune favors the foolish, I guess. Anyway, Odin's bothered by his son's supremely overconfident cluelessness, too. Next thing Thor knows, he's without his mighty hammer, Mjolnir, and stuck in the middle of New Mexico as a mere mortal. What a place to be stuck as a mere mortal. Just when he thinks things can't possibly get any worse, Natalie Portman, the ex-Black Swan, here playing Jane Foster, runs him over. She isn't a nurse here, like she is in the comics. She's an astrophysicist and also a terrible driver. She works with her mentor, Dr. Eric Selvig, that's played by Stellan Skarsgård of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and her intern, Darcy, that's Kat Dennings, Nora from Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, in a building that looks kind of like an old gas station, something like that. It's, it's a strange sort of a space, but it works for them. Darcy, who wisely declares that she's not willing to die for six college credits and wields a mean taser, looks kind of like Jane. I thought at first they were supposed to be sisters. But Jane's out to unlock the secrets of the universe, and just imagine how useful a deity will be on that quest, even a clueless one. They're sword fighting a metal robot thing that breathes fire, storms, electromagnetic interference that messes everything up, and of course lots of ice that things and people freeze all over the place. Throw in a little betrayal, a touch of metaphysics, a bit of a King Arthur Excalibur reference, and lots of special effects, and you're done. Oh, and there's also Lady Sif and the Warriors 3. Sif uses a quarterstaff and a shield, which I thought was a little awkward, though she, she does all right with it. She makes it work. The film does all right, too. Three and three quarters out of five. There are plenty of nice little references to the comic, and of course Agent Coulson, played by Clark Gregg. I still want his job. What a wonderful job. There's even Stan Lee and a cameo from yet another Avenger at the Big Hammer Crater. I, I won't give away who it is, don't worry, but just look out for that. And, of course, it should go without saying at this point, there's a teaser after the credits, so don't get up and leave after the pretty Starfield effects stop like half the audience did when I was there. There's another movie in the set that needs foreshadowing after all. Avengers Assemble!